Happy Monday. Today is Monday, November 2nd, 2020. We had All Saints Day yesterday, and it's a gorgeous day out today. Um, and I hope in this good weather that you get out and get a chance to get outside and enjoy it. Our daily Bible readings for today are Psalm 128, Joshua 4, 1 through 24, 1 Thessalonians 2, 13 through 20, or you could have read Psalm 5, Jeremiah 5, 18 through 31, and 1 Thessalonians again 2, 13 through 20. Um, and like I said, it's gorgeous weather out today, um, and it was really nice weather this weekend, and I know a lot of people got out and hiked and things like that, and um, you might have even seen where somebody went down the trail ahead of you, and they like decided they were going to mark their territory and let you know that they had been there first, and they stacked some rocks, you know. Um, that's a big tradition in um, people like that like to go hiking and stuff, and a lot of places you go up in the highlands and and you see cairns that people have left behind, uh, you know, up on mountaintops, things like that. People, for some reason, all of a sudden, the past couple of years, really like to do that in the middle of creeks, um, which is actually a problem. You know, they'll take, they'll move the the rocks that are in the creek, and they'll build these rock piles with them, these cairns, and you'll come up on a creek, and there's just none of the rocks are in the creek where they're supposed to be. They're all stacked on top of each other, which is looks really cool, and you know, good for you for doing that. Except. Like, you shouldn't do that because, like, things live under those rocks, literally. And, um, like, I, you know, you kind of destroy habitat when you do that. Anyway, though, so don't do that. But, uh, it, it, they, you know, people would, people do that, like I said, to, like, you know, let you know that they got there before them. Uh, they, they got there before you, rather. And the people would also do it as landmarks, you know, navigational aids, you know. They see a big rock pile, and you're like, well, I know I'm on the right path because people have come this way, and they would direct you to the next direction. Um, and it was a witness, like I said, that somebody was there before you. Uh, so that's what we're talking about today when we're looking at Joshua 4, 1 through 24. We're looking at Joshua and the Israelites um, making rock piles. They're making cairns. They're stacking rocks on top of each other as a witness to the fact that they had passed that way. Um but specifically as a witness to the fact that God had led them that way. In the story, we've got Joshua, he instructs the people of Israel. He picks these 12 big guys out of, I'm assuming big guys because of what he has them do, but these 12 big guys, and they each represented one of the tribes of Israel because there are 12 tribes. And he says, as you go through the Jordan, when you get out into the middle of the Jordan where the where the priests are with the Ark of the Covenant, because we've looked at this text before, and we talked about how as soon as the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant, as soon as their feet touch the water, the water's piled up, right? And the Jordan River stopped flowing so they could walk on dry land, you know, kind of like the Exodus story. Um, and he says that when you get out there into the middle of the river, I want you to each pick up a big stone and carry it on your shoulder. So it's not like they were just picking up like little loaves of bread sized stones. They were picking up things that they had to heave up and carry on their shoulder. Great big stones. So picture like the 12 biggest guys in all of Israel carrying as big a stone as they can carry, picking them up in the middle of the river and carrying them through and up onto the other bank where they camped and making this stack of 12 stones. And that's cool. Why did they do that? And and don't tell the park rangers that they did that. But anyway, um, why why did they do that? Well, Joshua tells them. He says, I, "You are doing this so that later on, when your children ask you, why are these stones here? What these stones that came out of the middle of the river? What are they doing here? So you will have to tell them who it was that led you through the waters of the Jordan River and on into the promised land." Um, it was a testimony and a witness, not just to their passing, but the fact that God led them through there. Um, and Joshua, not to be outdone, he makes a pile like that in the middle of the river, right? Just kind of like I was talking about earlier, you shouldn't do the national parks, but he makes a stack in the middle of the river of rocks probably just as big so that people go, you know, coming through the river later on or going down the river would have to stop and go, how did they get there? So, it, you know, when we stack rocks like that, when we're out hiking and stuff, it's kind of like basically our way of saying, I was here. Well, this was Israel's way of saying God was here. Uh, you know, it's interesting to me because this point where they crossed is um, kind of near where Jericho is, 
right? And if you look on a map of Israel, like a biblical map of Israel, you see where Jericho is. That's kind of the point they crossed. It's also most likely the point where John was baptizing people in the Jordan River. It's pretty close to Jerusalem because, you know, we know people came out of Jerusalem to see him. And it's interesting to me because at that point in the story, John, you know, says, you know, don't take such faith in uh, in in the fact that that you you know that you are children of Abraham because God can like raise up children of Abraham from these rocks. Later on, we have Jesus saying, you know, if you uh, you know if these children don't testify, the rocks will cry out. I always like to think that some of those rocks he was talking about were these rocks that were on the Jordan and in the Jordan River that would cry out and testify to all the great things that God had done. So anyway, get out today, maybe stack a couple of stones in an environmentally friendly way and say that God was here in your life, that he led you through the turbulent waters as well. Anyway, that's the DBR for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Get out, enjoy the weather, have a good day. Boop.